I use APO to find the evidence base for issues that I'm interested in knowing about. The a kind of one-stop shop, a repository. I would describe the APO as a very carefully curated repository of policy-related research. It's all in one place and all organised in a useful way. APO just saves me tons of time. Communicating robust information that can help inform policy making. Uh, so the ability to be able to access something in a synthesised, accessible format is a delight. A really convenient, fantastic way to find out what's going on. It's so important that that information be available and accessible uh, freely to anybody. Uh, it allows people to discover uh, evidence or knowledge in a way that they wouldn't have discovered it through any other means. So, you know, we're doing our own looking. Often APO will find things we don't. All about making research kind of more visible and more usable. And we also use APO to share our work that we produce in-house. Every week, every month is becoming more and more authoritative in the number of um, articles and research pieces and white papers and grey papers they pull together from across Australia from thousands of sources. Well, the difference is that you find much more current work and you find a wider range of diverse uh, research resources. APO um, collects and indexes pretty much all of our publications. Very, very valuable. In fact, it's open. Yeah. It's even more valuable. It's hugely helpful in terms of uh, giving a concrete tool to practitioners to say, hey, this, uh, this tool's right there, it's accessible for you, uh, go straight away and, and have fun.